Today's color code is SW0055. Let's get cracking. You already know, this is James from thepaintpeople.com and welcome to Color Code, where we crack the code on color selection. There's a lot of detective work when it comes to nailing the right color for any particular space, especially when it comes to pesky grays. Hopefully that's not too much of a spoiler considering you probably read the title of this video. SW0055 is a color by Sherwin-Williams called Light French Gray. We're going to break this color down and talk about its undertones, its light reflectance value, but most importantly, we're going to teach you how to use it, where to use it, and what to use it with. So to put it plainly, you could describe light French gray as a pretty neutral color, mainly because it has gray in the name. But within the gray color family, there's a lot of fine little details that can push it one way or another. And these details come in the form of undertones, which are in pretty much all paint colors, but are more crucial to understand when dealing with grays and beiges and everything else in between. Light French gray can be categorized as a grayish, mainly because of its combination of gray and beige warmth. But it's only until you place this color against a stark white background where you can begin to break down what's going on in its undertones. Oddly enough, there's another light French gray made by Bear Paint, which in comparison, is noticeably cooler than Sherwin-Williams' counterpart, but I would still say they're both on the cooler side of gray, all things considered. Sherwin-Williams' light French gray tends to favor a little bit more of a purple undertone compared to an icy green feeling gray, so it ends up having a more grounded and relaxed approach to a cool gray, rather than something that is completely cold and frigid looking. Checking out its LRV, or light reflectance value, which can be found on the Sherwin-Williams website, when you click on the details tab, which I have on the screen for you, you can see that it's right near the middle at 53. This would quite literally make it a mid-tone, but not only is it on the slightly higher end of the middle, it also tends to be more neutral in its tone because of all the gray present. And it's more versatile than a brighter, more saturated color would be at this depth level. What I love about Sherwin-Williams colors is they also give you the RGB and hex values of the color that you can plug in and see it represented in other software for all you budding designers watching. Where should you use it? I see more and more people utilize this type of color on surfaces like kitchen cabinets, just to break up the monotony of putting off-white on everything. When we think about a kitchen renovation, what are some of the easiest and most cost-effective ways to change the look? Other than changing the hardware or handles for something that's maybe more up-to-date, in a lot of cases, you can theoretically buy a can of paint and spend the afternoon by changing the color of your cabinets or your island. For example, if you have a beautiful white and gray marble countertop with white cabinets, maybe instead of getting rid of that beautiful, heavy, and expensive stone, you can instead just throw light French gray on the sides of the island or the cabinets themselves, giving you a completely different look that still coordinates with that beautiful marble. And that's where I see this color used effectively. Because a lot of marble may look grayscale and black and white, but there's usually that little hint of stormy taupe warmth that is incorporated as well in the veins, which ends up being a phenomenal interaction. That's the first place I would use it, but it's also going to suit a lot of contemporary interior walls in the areas that you want a little more compared to your standard off-white neutral colors. I think it's just a bit too dark to be deemed as a main color, and also because of its cool tinge, albeit slight, it could clash a little with some warmer natural woods and flooring and traditional interiors as a whole. I tend to favor light French gray to accompany more subtle, understated muted tiling or engineered hardwood or whatever you're deciding to use. What's a good trim color for it? This all depends on the other wall colors you decide to use throughout your space. And the reason I say that is because there's a good chance you might wanna use a lighter alternative in areas that could use some brightening up where light French gray might just feel a bit too dark. So if that's the case, the safest option would maybe be something like extra white. That way you don't really need to worry about your trim color clashing with other room wall colors because it's just so bright and vibrant. And you also don't need to even think about whether or not it's going to be enough to contrast with your walls and your woodwork because that's always an important thing I like to consider whenever I'm picking my trim color. Extra white is bright, vibrant, not too stark, not too blue, not like a high reflective white, 
but it's still gonna be quite clean. Now, if you plan to use light French gray a little more liberally, or you just tend to favor mid-tones in general, then maybe you can go with a trim color that has a little more depth. Pure white is actually nearly as light as extra white, but it introduces a tiny bit more of a pleasant warmth that really plays nicely. And if that's not warm enough for you, and you don't mind having a more apparent creaminess in your trim and baseboards, then you could also consider alabaster. Alabaster will noticeably look more off-white than a stark white, but not in a bad way. It's not like your doors will seem like old oil-based paint was used on them and now they've yellowed in time. No, no, no. Alabaster really just has a pleasant beige creaminess to it that can cozify your space, if that's a word. If not, it should be, honestly. What are some fun color pairings for it? I mentioned before that a lot of people looking at light French gray would also likely be looking for a lighter color that can go alongside it. I tend to enjoy pairing it with spare white, which is a color that shares some characteristics, but ends up being nearly 20 LRV lighter than light French gray. It has just a bit of warmth, yet still possesses a slight cool touch to it, and will be a near perfect companion to light French gray in areas that don't get sufficient lighting, or also for those north facing rooms that don't get much warm light throughout the day, it could be a great choice. Another color that is technically complimentary because of where it sits on the color wheel is Unique Gray. While light French gray can sometimes have the appearance of a subtle purple undertone, it doesn't really contain any purple within it. Unique Gray, on the other hand, is unapologetically purple in its undertones, and the two of them have a lovely little interaction that is complimentary, but still extremely neutral and subtle. They're both fairly light colors, all things considered. Each one will accentuate the other's undertones, which is interesting because separately on their own, either one could be mistaken for gray. Can you compare light French gray to other colors? If you're looking for a color that feels a little bit darker and perhaps nudges over a little more to green territory, we have March Wind. This color's LRV is 49, and the fact that it also has a bit less warmth than the previous color will give the space a feeling of density. If you're all about cozifying, like myself, then maybe introduce a little more of that warm beige in a color like Colonnade Gray. I feel this is a much more relevant comparison because they both have the exact same LRV, which means they reflect the same amount of light, yet Colonnade Gray contains enough brown and beige to make it feel closer to a warm taupe rather than a stormy gray. What about you? Are you team warm or team cool gray? Let me know in the comments below. And here we have another Sherwin-Williams color we talked about on Color Code that's a bit lighter and quite possibly main color caliber. And just before you go, hit that like button on your way out if you enjoyed spending some time with me. That's it for this one. See you on the next one.